all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and after my last video where i was talking to you guys about this checking event right here that's given out the mega mythic uniform upgrade ticket and the ctps I had a couple of you guys who were actually surprised that i decided to pick up saber Tooth's uniform that's not actually what i wanted to showcase in that video but a couple of you guys messaged me who were actually quite shocked that i bought the uniform for him even after it was nerfed and in the beta we were all saying he didn't get the justice that he truly deserved so for him to get even less and for me to pick up the uniform many of you guys are actually quite shocked but you really shouldn't be because nothing has changed many of you guys were saying that does this mean he's actually better than i initially said because i went ahead right even after saying he's not good i still bought the uniform no 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 no, no. nothing has changed he's still not good enough but i picked it up because one i had many of you guys are requesting to see gameplay with him in this uniform because you have so much love for the character and you want to see if he gets a justifiable improvement in addition to that i'm also a big fan of victor as many of you guys know so i decided just out of sheer love i was gonna go ahead and pick up the uniform but this is definitely one of those uniforms that's gonna stay at normal pretty much indefinitely the only way i can move this uniform from normal to heroic at the very least and feel no ways about it is if at some point and i'm not encouraging this right it gets tied to a uniform that is super op for a character that i really love that's the only way i can justify paying crystals or using like uniform upgrade tickets on this uniform because i don't think it's doing enough for victor if you like him and you like the fact that in this uniform you only need to use the three and the five then yeah you can go ahead and pick it up but honestly i don't think this uniform is worth the money so just because i have it doesn't mean it's actually better than i said it was initially i still think they should change them right and the fact that they did <laughs> they did him so dirty by removing that 10 percent all attack buff that they gave him on the beta is actually just quite shocking because yeah many people were already upset that he only got one skill change for them to just go back and remove that 10 percent all attack and just leave the chain hit it just just kind of leaves a shitty feeling right so i'm gonna rebuild him though because i was planning to give him a ctp of destruction to try him out in a little bit of pvp see how he does there right so if that's something you guys want to see let me know i'm definitely thinking about doing it I'm I'm not gonna finish these slots with the Urus just yet because if I do in fact give him a CTP of destruction, that's gonna give him a lot of crit damage and that would ideally get me pretty close to the cap. So I don't wanna end up wasting Urus. But nonetheless, man, I'm gonna take him into a little bit of gameplay and show y'all what he can do right now in this uniform. But ultimately, I think you can come really close to what I'm gonna do today without the uniform. So you should save your crystals and buy something special on Black Friday. That's just my two cents, okay? Just because I have it doesn't mean you need to have it. I have it because it's a personal choice right not because it's doing as much as the character truly deserves so we're gonna jump in here against proxima and i think the highest i can go with them right now is probably like 55 56 and that to be honest with you guys that's pretty good considering this fool right here love logan to death but that's about where he taps out but keep in mind that's without defense down right they, they did wolverine so dirty i hate shit not wolverine in basically every video but like man it, it's so bad like he's one of the worst tier threes in the game like for pve well and the thing is he's not even like he's bad because he can do high level it's just that there's level 60 characters that can do way better than him with a mythic uniform tier 3 and all and he's really not that stellar in pvp so it's just like man whatever it's not a wolverine video i don't want to go on a rant i don't want to do it but when you use saber tooth you have to draw that correlation between wolverine and saber tooth right because wolverine has been losing since the dawn of time in every competition between him and Sabretooth, he's always lost, right? It's just crazy, man. And even in Future Fight, he's basically a loser here. Can Wolverine ever get a dub? Boys, will Wolverine ever get a dub? That's the question. And I probably shouldn't have canceled the three there. That was a dumb move. <laughs> Let's actually, this time, let it play out so we can get the defense down. And we're going to stand in the poison. Stack up a lot of defense down. Nice. All right, 55 against Proxima is not bad. All right, so if you guys want to buy it for this reason, I guess you could, but like, I don't know, man. I don't think it's worth it. Or at least, I don't think it's worth buying it and then buying all that you need to to get it to Mythic. All right? You could buy it on sale, right? On Black Friday for 50% off. 
yeah, you could do that, but like, well, look, it, it's just real sad that I'd rather him not get a uniform than him get this. But the only thing I will say though is I really like the new skill that he got because it tells me that Netmar was still like actively experimenting and trying to come up with new like and exciting skills. And I think his skill is pretty cool, right? I love the fact that he has like three different effects. Come on. Also, if you guys want to see some rage gameplay with him, let me know. I think with rage, you could probably go up to 60, which is good, I guess, right? And it's nice that you can just literally play him with two skills. So he becomes easier to play, but definitely not as strong as I was hoping for, but that's just a personal, personal thing, right? Like I said, everything on this channel, everything I say or do when it comes to Marvel Future Fight, it's subjective. It's based on how I like to play the game and how I feel about these characters, right? Obviously, I try my best not to be biased and stuff, but when characters cost a lot of like money or crystals, then I definitely have higher expectations, right? Now, I'm not saying they need to be like God to your Doctor Strange level damage, but I definitely need to feel like, you know, for my money, I'm getting something that was like, looks like some effort was placed into it, right? But I will say the one skill that he got changed, it looks like effort was placed into it, you know? Some thought was like put into like how the skill was going to work because it's original, it's new. And we've never seen anything like it before. We've seen charging skills, but never to this degree. And never ones that do three different things. Gotta be careful here, though. I'm surprised, Proxima. You know what? Let me not call it on myself. And I have to be careful because I don't want to get clapped by the lightning that flies around. I guess on the plus side, it's super easy to keep his damage proc on one of the high damaging skill because both the three and the five ooh, do good damage <laughs> still gotta watch out for him dying though because his defense is not high okay yeah you can definitely do this but i think this is about where we would cap out maybe maybe if we had some more crit damage i should have um let that play out but yeah if we had some more crit damage i think we could have actually we can still do this with plenty of time to spare actually we're probably gonna land right in it thankfully the immunity is still up that scared me still i thought we we're gonna die okay so yeah we can definitely do 55 and this is actually a pretty easy 55 so shout out to saber Toot, right let's actually jump over here if this thing would bloody load there we go all right let's actually jump over here and we're gonna go up against corvus yeah, I think we could do 57 with him. If we could cut through 55 that easily against Proxima, I think we could do 57 against Corvus. Now, we don't have any Ignore Dodge in the build, so we're going to drop Weapon X, Colossus, and Rachel. And we're going to pick up Nadia. And then we get Black Widow and Agent Venom. And let's see how we can do with this guy. I'm not going to lie to you guys, even though he looked pretty impressive against Proxima. I'm not too happy. I was hoping for a little bit more, but I think that's just the nature of the beast, right? When you really like a character and you see that they're getting a uniform, you always hope that they get something stellar. And he actually got canceled completely out of his um third skill there. That kind of sucked. And now the proc is on the fourth, so we're going to try and see if we can get it back on the third. It's actually at the end. That's not good thing is about Sabretooth, he can actually get interrupted while he's in his third skill iframe. There's a gap that allows enemies to escape. Same thing goes for um, his fifth skill. All right, let's tag Crescent in here just because she can actually like use IO to pull some of that thing away. And I was actually going to make this video about Crescent, but since many of you guys were actually messaging me about um, Victor here, I figured I'll go ahead and make a video on him since that might be the universe sending me a sign saying you guys want to see some saber tooth action so if you guys actually want to see a video on crescent though let me know i know many of you guys don't really care too much about the character because unlike her sisters she is not really much right she's not much to look at because she's just a child and in addition to that she doesn't really bring too much besides the leadership so it's sad times feel bad for her Danny Koo, if he actually cares about how good these characters are in Marvel Future Fight, because 
I got to say, well, well, got canceled. At least we got the fifth skill back for the team up, right? Feel bad for him if he actually cares about how these characters play in the game and if people actually like like them outside of just the aesthetics. But I'm pretty sure they don't care about that. They just care about making their money, right? But you're never going to catch me recommending Crescent to anybody. That's facts. Because we got better leaderships or just as good a leadership as Crescent and she doesn't offer much else. So that, that kind of sucks. But anyways, I know some people out there are going to say, well, Crescent in her uniform does more damage. Now she does. I can show you guys that she definitely does. I'm not going to like lie to you. All right. But I think ultimately, I don't know. Let's focus on Sabertooth. Let's, let's leave the Crescent discussion <laughs> for another video so that I don't piss you guys off. We'll just come to see Sabertooth. Actually, actually, let's stand in the poison. That way we can lower his HP. I really would have liked if this uniform made it so that he didn't have to rely on that. And uh, that sucked. Activated my proc early. That was a rookie mistake there. Not necessarily a mistake. I was trying to see if I could force Wanda to mind control him to prevent him from doing that whole thing, you know. Scarlet's blessing and all. Ultimately though, I think I might have overstepped and he might not actually be able to do this. We should tank a couple of these hits though. Here we go. Stand in the poison. Now, oh really? He went out of, bro, he canceled both of those skills. Wow. Jeez. He cannot actually do this. And he might actually die there. Wow, let's take one to the dome. Really? Wow. We got guard broken by the blade twister before we could. Yeah, he cannot do this. That's actually sad. So it looks like we should have stuck to like a 55 or maybe even lower. But that, that's sad, man. That's sad. That's sad. Gonna get guard broken again. Oh. Never mind. So <laughs> Scarlet's like, <laughs> nah, bro. No mind control for Victor, bro. I don't know what Victor did to piss off Scarlet, but she not trying to make him look any kind of good here. And also he keeps getting canceled. Bro. He's strong. This is 50. Bro, I have level 60 characters that are stronger. Bro, I'm pretty sure even White Fox, no uniform, could do this, bro. Level 60, by the way. That's sad. That's actually sad. Like, it brings a tear to my eye. Like, that's good. Like, the, when you can get him to, like, put the defense down. I'm going to stand through a couple of these just to lower his damage, but not actually, like, to the point where he actually dies. Okay. Man. Sad life here, boys. Good old Sabertooth. Like, that's damage with the proc there and the defense down. <laughs> that's actually kind of sad. Like, now that Scarlet's coming out and kind of blessing him, the damage is going up a little bit, but man, it, it, it sucks. It really sucks. Yeah, we should have gone down to like 57. Maybe I'll build him up a little bit more, give him a CTP of energy, but he's looking pretty bad here for just how much I would have liked him to have improved by just equipped in the uniform. I know a couple of you guys are going to say, well, if you get the uniform to Mythic and you finish off his Urus, he will be a lot better. Yeah, if I finish off his Urus, he will be a little bit better, but to get this to Mythic, that's basically like buying him a second time. Really? You think that's a good idea? I personally don't think so. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap it up right here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this gave you guys some insight into how Sabretooth is with the Uncanny Avengers uniform. He's definitely better offensively and he's easier to use in the sense where you only have to use a couple skills now but they don't come without their own sets of problems the three skill can be very easily interrupted if the boss iframes you mid charge and then you lose all your damage on that skill and even when you're in the iframe you can be cancelled because there's a gap in there so he's not without flaws he's definitely not a terrible character but he's not as good as I was hoping he was going to be in this uniform. So you may be disappointed if you're buying this, expecting to see a large increase in DPS. So keep that in mind. If you're a super fan, then yeah, this is a Sabertooth uniform. You're going to buy it regardless. Even if there were zero changes on this uniform, if you're a super fan, you would have still bought it. So you don't even need to hear my input. But if you're someone who wants to get the most out of your crystals or your money, I don't think this is a uniform for you. Probably not even on Black Friday. That's just my two cents. It's basically just aesthetics and a little bit easier for character to use. But again, that doesn't come without its problems.
we're gonna wrap up here boys thank y'all so much for watching if you like the video like the video if you dislike the video go ahead and hit that dislike button two times for me and if this is your first time here man go ahead and hit that subscribe button if only if you enjoy the content because this is what we do and we do it daily i'm gone peace Thank you.